after the first day, we so we made 750. So we just thought you were we could surprised. do That's the whole great. thing. That's great. And did you guys make all It is hard to believe that clip is from nearly 10 years ago. You've seen the how it started, how it's going trend on social media. Well, check this out. This is a picture of Isabel and Catherine Adams in 2021 when they came on. Uh, this is 2012 when they came on our show to talk about their paper for water campaign. And this is them now. They were just recognized by President Biden as the first teenage recipients of the Presidential Volunteer Service Lifetime Achievement Award. And they joined me this morning with more on the award and their 10th anniversary event. I remember you guys being on the show. Good morning and congratulations. Good morning. Thank you. It's great to see so you. To so I got to ask you, how did it feel to be recognized for the president for your hard work over the last almost 10 years? It was really special. Um, you know, sometimes I forget just how much we've done because it's pretty much just become our life at this point. <laughs> but, you know, it was really special to really sit down and think, wow, we've volunteered over 4,000 hours and it was just really special and very meaningful for us. How do you I know that neither of us do it for the recognition that we receive, but it was very validating and, you know, really nice to be recognized like that. How do you carve out time for regular teenage stuff? Are you able to? It's difficult. I know both of us struggle with that, you know, between school and I do competitive rowing six days a week. So it's hard to find time. Um, but I think we both managed to find some time to hang out with friends and stuff. Okay, for folks who are not familiar with your project, uh, you also recently published a new book. Tell us about One Piece of Paper at the Time and what this is all about. So One Piece of Paper at a Time is a book that Catherine and I co-wrote. And it is essentially a collection of stories detailing how we started the paper for water and why, and then how it grew into the organization that it is today. And Paper for Water, again, for folks who weren't here nine and a half, ten years ago, explain what it is and how many uh, water wells have you provided in this last 10 years? Sure. So Paper for Water is a nonprofit organization that my older sister and I started when we were five and eight. And what we do is we make origami ornaments. There's actually some behind me in my background right now. And we take donations for them and all the proceeds go to fund water projects in developing countries. And over the past 10 years, we've been able to raise over $2.5 million and help to fund over 300 water projects in 20 countries around the world. How many ornaments have you made? <laughs> well, we actually did some <laughs> little quick math last night, and we think that we've made at least 50,000 ornaments. Oh and to put gosh. that in perspective, each ornament takes anywhere from an hour to almost eight hours. So it's a lot of time going in. <laughs> So back in 2012, you met comedian Rob Schneider. He actually bought an ornament from you. Other celebrities have endorsed your product now. Is that right? Yes. We have been lucky enough to meet some really amazing people um, at the Caring Institute Awards back in, oh gosh, I think 2014. Kevin and I were lucky enough to meet Representative Gabby Giffords and now Senator Mark Kelly. And we were super little, so we didn't realize how cool that was. <laughs> Um, but it was just really amazing to meet them. We've met some Disney Channel stars, which is really fun. Um, and I think some of the most important people that we've met, though, are local Dallas CEOs who have really been influential in helping us grow our mission. And tell us about your 10th anniversary event coming up next weekend. <laughs> so our 10th anniversary event is a celebration of all of the things we've been able to do and all of the people who have helped make our mission possible. You can actually still get tickets on our website and everyone who comes will get a signed copy of our book as well. So it should be really fun. A couple of quick questions. Um, you're about to graduate from high school. You're headed off to college. So um, Isabel, where do you see yourself in 10 years? And I want to ask one more question and that is, what made you stick with this project for 10 years? I think that's the hardest thing to do. We all have great ideas and then they just kind of, you know, go away. We just don't get it done. I'll take that question before she answers what she's doing with the rest of her life. Um, I think, you know, people ask us that all the time because 10 years is a really long time, especially for younger kids, you know, whose time, like time attention span is not that long. And I think that originally it was just gonna be a one month project. 
And what really got us hooked is when we went and visited our water projects in India in 2013. And we were planning on, you know, ending the project. It had been like two years. We were happy with what we'd done. And then we saw firsthand the impact we had and all the kids who were in school and didn't have to haul water all day. And that's what hooked us and, you know, has kept us going for so long, I feel like, just seeing firsthand the impact. For sure. That's okay. And as far as to what I'm going to be doing in 10 years, um, I plan on studying political science and history in college. And then, I don't know, either becoming a teacher or working for the government with international relations. I think there's a lot of fun things I could do, and I'm looking forward to figuring all that out. That's funny. Political science and history was my double major. Maybe you'll be a TV host. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Great to see you both this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. We really Thanks appreciate so your time and congratulations. Us. Thank you. You can pre-order their book, uh, one piece of paper at a time dot com. So Hannah, can you believe we have so many kids on this show who it seems like to me I was like, when I was that age, I wasn't even thinking. <laughs> you know what I mean? You probably were. You probably were, but it is cool to see that and people just taking action in the moment. It shows you that you know, all you can do is what you can do right now. I love seeing that. Congratulations to those young women.